Okay. Um, something I, the thing I probably enjoyed most about coming here was that at first you come and it's, it's a school and a classroom and very quickly it becomes a home and a family. And when you're going through a transformation like this and there's painful times, it's good to have a group of people around you that know what you're going through and are supportive. And uh, it made it a lot easier for me and I think it gave me a chance to kind of learn compassion by uh, helping other people through a similar thing because I was feeling what they were feeling. I met the It's Yoga family about four years ago in Vietnam and completely fell in love um, with the rocket and, and seriously the people. I've done a 50 hour training in Florence and I met another teacher in um, Barcelona and there's just such great energy and I just really wanted to continue to be part of it. Um, so I've been wanting to do a teacher training for quite a while and this year it finally worked out and I found that what they're doing in Nicaragua, um, Edwin and Katarina, is really remarkable um, how much they care about the community and that's what brought me here. Here in Nicaragua, what I really enjoy most with Beyond the Yoga are the people. Um, it's a beautiful location and the people that join us uh, really just become a family and very supportive. I think this is a beautiful spot to do your um, teacher training because it's a place that allows you to disconnect from everything um, in the world, but then very much connect with yourself and with people that are very much like you and that can challenge some of your ideas, um, but also are super supportive and um, loving. There's just so much love here, and so I think it's a beautiful spot. Um, well, there's something called peace time, where you're supposed to meditate. Most of the time people go surfing, or they go on hikes, or they go swimming, and the landscape around us is beautiful, so that's one reason, but, I mean, you come for the yoga, but you stay for the yogi. What brought me to this yoga teacher training in Nicaragua? Uh, yoga, teacher training, and Nicaragua. It was really a tough decision when I actually saw what was going on. It's the cheap, cheapest teacher training that I could find online. It's You pretty much have your own private beach and local tropical fruits all day, every day. Um, so that's what brought me here. Also, what brought me to decide to do a teacher training was um, the fact that I wanted to be able to build a yoga community around me, have the confidence and the skills necessary to be able to bring people in, draw people in, and teach them correctly, as well as um, be certified, have the certification to be authentic in the United States. I was awfully nervous coming in about the other people that were going to be here. I knew it was going to be a small group of people and that's what I liked, especially about this program. We have 13 in our group and I was a little nervous on them being like super good yogis or like super pretentious people, people wearing Lululemon all the time, but we're all pretty much just riding on the same vibe and it's it's pretty stellar that it worked out that way from all different parts of the world, all different parts of the country. And the fact that we're all here for yoga has just really strengthened the time. It's you have your own private beach. We went and swam with the sea turtles today. We're going to go help the local school next week. It's the beginning of our third week here and the initial 10 days is kind of an intensive and it just jump starts you into a daily life and a daily routine of yoga which for me is necessary to have that experience to be able to bring it to the community around me my family and friends and that is 